What's going on, everybody? It's Frito here for your Overwatch. Absolutely massive news roundup today in every sense of the term, actually. But first, getting into the big story of the day. Part of the puns, Derek Mulder on the forums shows off a demonstration of the brand new workshop changes that just went on to the PTR. Now, those boss battle game modes can certainly get the sense of scale and proportion that you've always dreamed of, and tiny Overwatch can turn into the tiniest version of Overwatch. And the thing that's oh so adorable about this true to blizzard's typical attention to detail the pitch of characters voice lines is size appropriate hello greetings hello greetings hello not only is that adorable, it's also pretty useful because I never knew how that voice line ended. I've never completed it myself. Now, there's a bunch of in-depth patch note information about how the workshop specifically is getting changed. But if you're like me, we just want to wait and see how the creators make use of this upgraded technology for game modes that we can play. But also snuck into this PTR, they're finally instituting the priority requeue for backfilled games, which applies to quick play. They've already put this in the ranked context where if a game gets disbanded, for whatever reason you get priority status that's been great now this will apply for quick play games as well if you backfill into a game where someone left next up jeff kaplan posted on reddit to announce that there's going to be an experimental card coming soon including some genji nerfs minor toning down of genji he says as long as some experiments with moira that they are unsure of which i don't know what this means do they make her more skillful and therefore harder to access or a straight up nerf on sure we'll have to wait and see but interesting there is another experimental card that's going to be coming out which is the quote failed experiment that they figured they might as well try for some fun no word on when these are going to go out but they're hoping one goes live next week but sometimes things come up so manage expectations accordingly players have been outraged at the power level of genji breaking our wildest dreams of the outer limits of what power creep was capable of but to mix up the pro level meta no buff is beyond consideration it seems my assumption is that blizzard would attack one of a couple areas of genji i think his ult charge rate is just outrageous at this point with how consistent and high his damage values are so they either could tone that back specifically or they could maybe undo the damage buff that he received because i really only think he needed the spread decrease in order to keep up with a lot of characters speaking of the experimental card it was cleared to be shared out of the private Discord channel with the developers and content creators. EVA posts this on Twitter, where Jeff explains that they attempted to make the type of playlist of like a classic Overwatch, where they ran everything back to its original iterations. Think perhaps like Classic WoW, for example, but they ran into technological limitations where it was too costly to do so from a performance standpoint, since there was a lot of art and UI changes that were not properly versioned off, but overwritten. So essentially, they didn't design the game to be able to go back in time like that. It was going to be an arcade card, but they eventually abandoned working on it. Next up, some hacker news. 30,000 accounts have been banned in China, according to Daniel Ahmed, who is a video games industry analyst covering China and Asia, which seems like an incredibly high number, which either indicates a significant portion of their player base is hacking or their player base is just way larger than I think it is. We have no idea the actual concurrent player numbers of overwatch at any given time that's something they never share no matter how many times you ask but as a reference point right now on steam charts destiny 2 is showing about 70,000 concurrent players while a massive game like counter-strike has 500,000 concurrent players and the respective peaks for both games is 130,000 versus nearly a million i'm sure there's ways that some genius could extrapolate where overwatch would fit in the grand scheme of these based on all other online metrics for the game i think you can come up with a pretty reasonable estimate but the point is no matter where overwatch falls in that 30,000 banned accounts still feels like a lot to me whereas rainbow six siege currently has 60,000 concurrent players and 126,000 peak i would hope overwatch is competing among the tiers of those games but i'd imagine at worst it's doing similar to the bottom games on this list player unknown battlegrounds rocket league i certainly hope it's not lower than that and with a growing hacking problem in 
the West, I start to wonder how many hackers we actually have on the NA and European servers as well. Next up, Overwatch League news. The playoffs for the 2020 season have been decided. They are going to split the regions between North America and Asia. They're going to kick off September 3rd with two weeks of online matches, seeded based on their regular season performance, with higher seeds of each region enjoying advantages such as buys and a choice of opponent for the first rounds. Similar to last year, the lowest seeded teams will have a single elimination tournament in order to qualify for the main playoffs, which does have double elimination, which is reserved just for the final four teams. And then when both regions are all said and done, the top two teams from NA and the top two teams from Asia will all meet up in Asia for the finals and grand finals, which is yet to be determined for multiple reasons, state of the world, logistics, etc., etc. Looking to the future of the Overwatch League's format, Jonathan Spector writes a twit longer explaining that they're definitely going to be doing more tournaments, but the exact ratio of regular season to the tournament structure has yet to be determined. Definitely not going to have just tournaments every week because that kind of diminishes the hype of them, but they are looking for ways to incorporate the homestand model with the tournament model next year, state of the world permitting. The Summer Showdown tournament had the biggest viewership in Asia they've ever had, which maybe informed the decision for them to decide to have the grand finals there. I'm sure some viewers are going to be upset about that, especially if the stream is going to be scheduled for Chinese friendly times, as you would imagine. I mean, they're living there. I'm just waiting for that to be a flare up when people realize that's the case. But what's more, in 2021 or next season, they're going to take another look at hero pools. They like where they're sitting right now in terms of hero pools affecting regular season games or the games that are leading up to a tournament but being removed for the tournament between that and balance changes intermittently to attack the meta we've been able to see a character like genji come out of the woodwork to finally be good again and high tiers of play who knows what they have cooked up for that but here he says it may change a bit in the future but perhaps keeping the aspects of the system that they like currently in terms of consistency and which matches it affects and last up for the video we've got some community news alpha on reddit finds out that lucio speed boost actually affects the pitch of sigma new orchestral emote and I found this pretty cool article from dot esports showing off eight of their favorite fan created skins for overwatch and I thought they didn't properly credit the artists with easily accessible links so I'm going to attempt to rectify that in this video while showing off some of their work these are some of my favorites here we have what looks like an overly realistic 3d rendition of an ancient king pharaoh reaper skin which I think is just over the top remarkable Grickory also made what appears to me to be a steampunk version of diva which gives her this adorable three musketeers era outfit as well as a lot of ornate decorations on her mech danny cruz made up this forsaken maker widowmaker skin which i assume is paying homage to sylvanas which after seeing this just seems like a must and an easy skin for them to make. They've already made the crossover skin with Nova. This one I think fits with Widowmaker's character even better. Sort of like who Widowmaker would have dressed up for on Halloween in the Overwatch universe, if she were to do a thing like that. Salvatore Tabby cooked up this Optimus Rhine skin with the bright colors reminiscent of the Transformers cartoon, which I think is incredibly fitting because I feel like a truck when I'm pressing pin. I don't know about you. Tabby also created this Overwatch 2 fan-made old Hanzo skin, which looks so good, it's as if Blizzard made it themselves. One last one for you, this one was popping off on Reddit, made by Fumblebee, and it is a Buzz Lightyear themed Batiste skin, which I think really works in more ways than one. Not only do the colors look good, and the air helmet seem to be a no-brainer, just visually, I feel Batiste's gameplay being able to leap up in the air gives a whole nother meaning to it's not flying, it's falling with style. Come on, Blizzard. It's too good to pass up. At least add that voice line if it's not in there already. Okay, I know Woody says that, but still, you get the point. Okay, don't mess up my joke with all your factual accuracy. All right, but with that being said, that's everything for today's news roundup video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to leave it with a like. It really does help us out. Let's know that you're enjoying the content. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell icon to actually get notified when our videos go live. Link in the description is our Twitter, where we tweet out news updates and dang memes that's been it for me i've been frito for your overwatch we'll see you guys next time